How does model ops help organizations to implement AI solutions? So model ops. Model ops helps companies to organize a path to operationalize AI at scale. And it helps also to connect your data ops and your DevOps. But it also includes the processes, the operations, the tools, and the technologies that companies can use to deploy, to monitor, and even to govern their machine learning models. I think everyone across the organization should be involved in the collaboration of AI and machine learning solutions, and then them work together to maximize the potential of AI. So when organizations are faced with disruption, like what we see now with the COVID-19 pandemic or the fast shifting dynamic market conditions, machine learning models might significantly change. And then enterprises need to be prepared to adapt and to operate these models successfully. Also, what you can see is that businesses build and integrate business applications, and they need the capabilities to manage and to monitor the performance of these models. So as organizations further turn to automated processes and advance their model deployment, they want to have more a uh, holistic view of the models and a holistic view of the lineage. And it helps businesses to realize their analytic success and also creating value out of this analytics. How does model ops help organizations overcome the challenges involved in deploying AI solutions into an organization? So implementing AI solutions across the enterprise that isn't easy. So you have manual processes, you have difficult monitoring scenarios, you have instructed governance that hinder an organization's ability to successfully deploy AI use cases. So many organizations, they are failing to scale AI. And they're compounded by the fact that data is constantly changing or new solutions and new machine learning models are continuously becoming available and they must be continuously updated and revised. And the applications need to be used in real time as well. So model ops becomes a necessity if organizations want to address these type of challenges in putting machine learning into production and overcome all this time consuming data science tasks like they have now, like integrating various software and components and data preparation, for example. So model ops gives AI teams a fast and a scalable and an iterative process to deploy more AI use cases in a more manageable way. So analytics and IT teams, they need to be as productive as possible, but improving the performance and the accuracy of data while working quickly and efficiently, that's not always easy, but it should be the main goal. So uniting people and teams across the departments while being able on, on track performance, that's an essential part of your model ops. So model ops helps teams to coordinate model deployment. But it all helps also including how to use tools like Python or like R, or how to deploy across all different kinds of cloud environments and weigh the differences and the cost um, and identify the ideal solution. How do organizations start building model ops capabilities? So building model ops capabilities in your organization will set you down to the, the right path to your AI deployment success. So organizations are increasingly focusing on model deployment tools and on different kinds of platforms that target use, that target consumption and management of the, the models. But it's no longer just about developing the machine learning models, but often about adopting the best practices, which in turn improves the model quality, but also improves the model reliability. So one of the simplest ways to start incorporating model ops is to turning your current predictive analytics and machine learning solution, and then leverage the existing model ops capabilities within these type of solutions. But also what you see is that many vendors today, they focus entirely on deploying and on monitoring and, and governing models and understand how to optimize the workflows and track KPIs and deploy throughout various environments. Last point, it is possible to build solutions in-house using tools like Kubernetes. However, with the vendors available who offer model ops deployment solutions, it's becoming a much more common place to turn to vendor type of solutions and building and managing features that can, can be quite complex as well. And then it's even compounded by building internal skills for use and, and for different platforms. 
So it's important for the businesses to keep their end goals in mind and to know how they are going to continuously and repeatedly integrate machine learning for better agility, but also for better flexibility to keep up with the demands of real-time data and of your real-time applications. Mm -hmm.